Hey, Gerrit. Uh, Ian here. Gerrit, I'm just going to run through those uh, steps for that that site that you were looking at, um, like we did in your office, just as quickly as possible, because I said I'd send you a video. Now, I saw you got the handle of it anyway, but um, I said I'd send you a video, so let's let's do that. Okay, so let's add the points so that we know where we are. So I'm just going to use the data source manager. Now we go to the point shape file. Add and close. There we go. Change the layer styling. Maybe make this three and uh, what color can we make it? Let's. I think there's a default red we can choose. Yeah, there's a good red. Okay, there we go. Points. Okay, so this is. Are these points for the power line? I think so. So, so now we need a power line. So let's create a new layer and let's just call it power line. Power line is going to be a line string, and we will choose the coordinate reference system that we were using, which is Hardware uh, Stock LO21 East North Up, and we'll go name, maybe length. Length can be a decimal. Okay, there we go. All right, so what we'll do is we'll just let's style this quickly. I'm going to add a value uh, and I'll make it a a marker line and then I'll make it a little cross we'll change this to 0 0.4 there we go and then for the marker line maybe change the spacing to 10 see if that works uh, the color color let's go with like a yellow and then the same for the line the line can be 0 0.4 and then also a yellow Okay, that should be nice. Let's have a look if uh, it shows up nicely on our satellite imagery. We'll turn on the Quick Map Services uh, Google Hybrid imagery, and then we'll digitize it. Okay, so what we want to do is just change our snapping options. So let's turn the snapping options on. Let's go to Advanced Configuration. We want to snap to both. We we'll snap to Vertex. Um, for Power Line, we need to se select Vertex, but then we also need Segment. Now the reason we need segment is to use that other tool, which was the extend and trim tool. So that's why we were struggling with it, is we needed to just select segment so that it can extend and snap to a segment because it wasn't lining up with anything set in the snapping option. So that, that'll work now. Okay, let's close that down and start digitizing our power line. So we'll capture a new power line starting from here. And I don't know exactly where it went. I assume it's on these points. So let's just digitize on these points. This is the last one. We'll right click to edit. The one we can call it power, power line. And then we haven't got a length yet. So maybe what we can quickly do is just go into the properties for the power line and go to the attributes, go to length and just change the default to for dollar sign length. So now that'll update. If we apply the update, that'll update to the new length. Apply and OK. OK, so now what we wanted to do is we, you wanted to extend it out here somewhere. So we need to draw a line out there. I'm going to draw a line over there. And we'll, that can be anything. Now we want to extend this line to that line. So let's see. I don't know how easy that is, but I think it's just a case of clicking that line, clicking this line, right click. Oh, that's trim. I chose the trim option there. Okay, so let's um, let's move this across. Move that across, and then let's. Uh, I want to extend that one to that one. So I think you extend to that one. This one, right click. Okay, so I did it the other way around. So if you're trimming, you first select um, the line you want to trim, and then you select what you want to trim. But if you're extending, you, ex you select the line you want to extend to, and then you select the line you want to extend. Okay, so that was the only difference there. Uh, that we can. Okay, so yeah, so for the trim and extend feature to work, you just need to make sure that the snapping segment is set for that line. Okay, let's deselect these. Okay, so we've got our power line. Uh, next thing you wanted to do is buffer that power line. Maybe you can just type in buffer. I see I've already already got it typed out there. Let's just do it. So we're going to buffer 
a power line by 10 meters and we can create a new layer for that that can be power line buffer power line buffer save run and close that at the bottom and maybe change that uh, to some kind of hatch uh, like a blue hatch and then the stroke color can also be like a blue color maybe a dashed line 0 0.4 something like that just so we can see through it and that can be any color really okay then we want to choose our set our blocks okay so we need a new polygon for the block so let's create a new shape file layer and it is going to be a let's call it blocks it is a polygon use the same projection or coordinate reference system we're going to go uh, name and then block we'll do area as well actually let's do area decimal number one and that all looks good so now we can say okay uh, what color let's make this uh, magenta and then semi-transparent so we'll change the opacity to 50 percent i think that'll look good all right so we're going to position it somewhere here but not within the buffer let's start editing and we'll choose this little option draw a rectangle so draw one in here like this and I think those measurements you gave me were like 32.4. The other way around, I don't remember. Let's try that. Okay, this is one, block one. Better. And this can also be dollar sign area actually. So go to the properties and update that area on default to dollar sign area so if we i think if we have a look at the attribute table now there won't be anything there oh hang on a second let's save this should be some oh that's selected feet. so if we select for all okay now it's null but if we just move it i think because we're updating it it should update um, effectively if you're moving it you're updating it so if we select it now if we go have a look okay it updates the area perfect okay so now you wanted an offset of six um six meters so i'm going to save and stop editing the blocks and then i'm going to buffer the block by six meters and i'm going to create a temporary layer okay that under there so we can see what's going on but I want to offset and have our next block six meters away. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I want to choose the uh, the snapping options for buffer now. So snap snapping options options. What am I doing here? The snapping options for buffered, and that can also be uh, I think segment, and then blocks. Blocks option is going to be vertex. Okay, that should work. Right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to start editing. We're going to copy, move. So we'll just stick this one here. Now we're going to select the move option and then just move it back. And then when we get close to the edge, because it's set to segment, it'll snap to that area. Perfect. Now we can stop editing. Now we can buffer both those and keep it as a permanent layer. So we're going to remove that. And that's all set. So we can go buffer, buffer that. So it's blocks, distance is six. Segments can be 10 to give it a higher res. Save to file. And this can be block buffer. Block buffer, okay. And run. Ah, I needed to choose, um, Dissolve result. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to change this name to buffer one. Close, and I'll just remove that one.
And then what I'll also do is because I can't see what's going on through it. So I'll just change this from simple fill to no brush. Uh, make it one and something I can see nice and bold. And I think you pretty much got there. So that's that's pretty much what you had already done. Um, so let's quickly have a look. I want to add, oh, let's save this project first of all. And then I'm going to add those grid points or those points. I don't actually know what you call them. Um, yeah. Add them and then move them into the correct place. Okay, so we want to snap those and move those in there. So, so let's add them. They're a CSV currently. You sent them to me as a C as a Excel. I've I've exported them to a CSV. This one here. Okay, we're gonna project them to L O twenty one east north up. What is the project CRS? Is that project CRS? Is that? But I want this to be east north up. Where's twenty one? Twenty one. Twenty one. Twenty one. Don't tell me I have to look for it. Thirty one. Ah. Okay, I'm going to go look for it. Oh, there it's previously used. Okay, so that's 21. That's perfect. We'll use the east and north. Easting and northing. Add and close. Right, so now if we zoom to that. In the middle of nowhere, I think. Yeah. That's right. Let's actually zoom to the full extent. Yeah, let's see if it's way up here uh, near the equator all right see that side there did i get the easting right let's just double check that so when i added it it should be easting should be x uh, default okay so that's correct okay perfect okay so now i'm just going to move it into the right place so i want to Convert it actually. Let's convert it to a shape file first. And I'll just call it grid. Grid, same CRS. That's fine. Add to map, yes. Okay. Turn that one off. Now I'm going to edit and move this one, but I want to snap. So, snapping off, I want to snap to vertex of that grid. And I'm going to move it onto a block. So let's, all well, my messages are always blocking out things here, which is not ideal. Let's zoom out slightly. Okay, so we're going to move. I'm going to move that all the way down here somewhere. Now if we zoom to it, and move it again once we get there. Where is it? Where are my blocks? Right, that. Oh, I see what happened. Let's just undo that. I'm going to select all of them and move all of them. So, that. Then I'm going to zoom out using my wheel on my mouse and move into Cape Town. Well, move into what's this? Storms Play. Okay, so it's not exactly, I think I think you tweaked it slightly and moved it up slightly, but that's pretty much where it would be. Okay, so now we can save that. Save that. Let's open up the attribute table. We're going to update these, but you want to keep the existing uh, easting and northing for historical purposes. So let's go update. Let's go east one. Uh, decimal number, decimal number three. Fields and values, easting, okay. That should be there, and we'll do the same for northing. North one, it is also a decimal number, and three is also fine. Northing, okay. Here we go, so now we can update what the new value is. So update existing field easting with, easting is dollar sign x. And update existing northing, and that is done. 
northing. It should be southing here. That is dollar sign Y. Then save that. All there we go. That's in the right place. Right click export as a CSV. CSV and we don't need to add it to the map but if we do it'll just add a table we'll just go ahead and add it okay, let's just check that it's true there it is okay save that project and I think you had pretty much done 90% of that anyway but I just wanted to show you that uh, goes through those steps again because I'd send it to you so give me a shout if there's any questions. Um, I also said I'd send you a, a video with regards to, to heel shade and the, and the different azimuths and, and altitude. Um, hopefully I can get to that early next week and send you something as well. Otherwise, I hope it's going well. Give me a shout if you have any questions. Cheers, Gerrit.